I'm talking about Lublin Castle. Hi. Hey, <laughs> hello. Morning, last full day here in Poland. Tomorrow we're gonna be flying back home. But today we're in Lublin and I've just done a little bit of research so I know what there is to do in Lublin. There's a few things that I think are gonna be really cool to go check out. We are sort of on the outskirts right now of Lublin so I still need to go and find a car park to drive into the city centre, park somewhere, check out the city, all that good stuff. The same as what I've been doing for the past like four days already. Another sunny day today. I'm a bit glad I didn't get any sunglasses yesterday. Is what it is. I don't think it's that long of a drive to be honest to go into Lublin itself, so yeah. <laughs> So I might as well get some food while I can because I've still not had breakfast, it's almost 12 o'clock. Okay, so almost immediately as I entered into that shopping centre to try and get some food, I actually got told off by the security guard for filming in there. They said no pictures, so I just adhered to the rules, decided just to uh, get my food to get out of there. Now we're heading down to Old Town because Lublin also has an old town. Apparently it's only about a six minute walk away from here, so I'm excited to see what old town's like here in Lublin. Well, the sun is that bright that I can actually not see if my camera's in focus or not, so I apologize if I'm not in focus. But anyway, right now we've just entered or entering the old town part in an area that's called Kraskowski Shedmiskie, or translated into English, which is easier to say, is Krakow's suburb. So right here, we just got like statues and waterfalls and stuff right behind us. Uh, it'd be nice if I could see and I wasn't blinded by the sun. Nice big waterfall over there. Not waterfall, water fountain over there. And essentially Krakowski Shedmiskie is the entrance to the old town here in Lublin. We're just walking down here now and the old town is literally straight ahead of us. <laughs> entrance to the old town we're walking in here now it's a bit dark here we go and then uh, on the other side we have old town here you can see I am in the centre, I think, of Old Town. You see in the background there's all, again, different coloured buildings similar to Warsaw's Old Town. All sorts of different patterns. So this is Lublin's Rynek, or marketplace, in the Old Town. Right behind me is like a, this square building based in the middle of this Old Town Square area. And at the moment it's closed, just like most things have been on my trip. But normally when it's open, you can go inside and there's like underground tunnels that you go into and you can explore underground of Lublin. But unfortunately I can't do that today, similar to when I was in Wuj and they closed off this sewage tour. They've for some reason closed off this one as well. I don't know the reason why, just at the moment this entire building is closed and you have to access the underground passage via this building as far as I'm aware. Was it open? Look at this. Yeah, I was wrong. This place is not closed. It just says it's closed on Google Maps. I decided to try and open the door, and the door was open, so we decided to have a look around. Okay. 
Cześć. E, die, Cześć. Do you speak English? Nie. Hoshon. Hello? Epidemia. Nie. Ah, okay. Because of COVID. Nie. Ah, tak, tak. Okay, uh, dziękuję. Okay, so from that really broken Polish English conversation, I managed to deduce the fact that that place was open, obviously because I was able to walk in there, but the underground tunnel door that go underground and do the little tour was closed due to COVID-19. So, bit of a bummer, I would have liked to have done that actually. It would have been an interesting thing to do to go underground where I am right now, just to have a look down uh, all the underground tunnels. Okay, so right behind me is the exit to the old town on the other side from where I entered, just there. Now, something that normally would be really cool, but again, because of either works, because it looks like it's got something going on, or COVID, or for whatever reason, this next thing is also closed. But I figured it'd be cool to look at anyway, because you can at least see the exterior. I'm talking about Lublin Castle. Confirmed, it is closed because construction works makes it look a little bit less grandeur than um, it might have otherwise had. But it's still awesome. I'm pretty sure right now I'm walking in the courtyard because it's just um, in the middle of the castle, basically. It's pretty cool. This is the only part really you can see, which is actually better than I thought. I thought I was just going to be able to see the exterior. But it turns out you can actually walk into the courtyard. It's not very big though. Big enough to have a look around though. It's quite nice. But the sun is actually flaring, I cannot see anything, which is why I'm trying to find a bit of shade. But apparently there's entrance to the Holy Trinity Chapel. Um, not sure what that is, we're gonna have a look. I'll probably do a little bit of research before we go in and um, just check it out, see what it's like. Hopefully it's, it's good, it's about half an hour of something, but I don't know what. interesting art in there however i'm not really much of a church person myself i don't believe in like religion or anything like that so it's not something i can really hone into too much however i appreciate the fact that the artwork in there was phenomenal uh it was just the one room in there um I, you know it takes about five minutes to look around and then you're sort of done in there there is a little bit to read in terms of information but I didn't bother reading the information because again, I'm not really that interested in to uh, religion. And with that being said, I think my time here in Lublin, even though it's been a short time, is almost up. I'm gonna have another walk through the old town, have a look around some of the streets I didn't look around. But essentially, like that's it in terms of things I wanted to see from what I can see from the research I've done. Um, but not only that, I do have a form to fill out before I fly back home that has to be done today. I also have like a four hour drive to go to Krakow today as well. So it's not too bad of a thing that I don't have much more to do because I need time to actually drive to Krakow. Chef, uh, what are you to find? In the car, we're going to get the directions to the hotel that we're staying in, Krakow. Uh, tonight that's going to be a four hour drive uh, so it's going to be a long one so I have to leave Lublin uh, a little bit earlier than normal uh, unfortunately but it is what it is four hours of driving plus I need to fill up with fuel as well because this car has got about 80 kilometers left um, then we'll be in Poland for the final day which will be tomorrow in Krakow for it being my last night here in Poland I think I've done really well with this hotel room the hotel itself is very like expensive looking uh the room itself is just i don't know overall i'd say it's uh, better than the rooms i've had on the other places purely down to what i've booked this one i paid like a little bit more for but it's like just the size of the room it might not even look a bit on, big on the camera i don't know but it's just a nice room to be honest with you but anyway i'm at the hotel i've made it to krakow after four and a half hours of driving there was so much traffic and there was uh 
I had to stop off to get fuel basically, you know. Four and a half hours worth of driving. It was pretty long, although it didn't feel that bad. I was listening to music, just chilling out, watching the countryside go past. You know, the Polish countryside is quite nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I was just enjoying myself. I quite enjoyed driving anyway, so it wasn't that bad for me, really. It was the last long stretch by uh, by far this entire trip. It might have even been my longest stretch, actually, and it was the last one to do. The only driving I've got left to do in Poland now is just to drive my car from this hotel right here to the airport, which I don't know how long it is, but I'm sure it's only going to be like 20 minutes or less. It's not going to be that far. The airport was only a few kilometers up the road that I saw as I was coming in. I can't believe I actually made it to Krakow already. It's 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 mad. This um this holiday sort of have come full circle. It's one that I had to book last minute and now we've only got one more city to go which is Krakow tomorrow. Dropping off the car in the morning and then from there the city is my playground until I need to go catch my flight. My flight isn't until like 10 p.m tomorrow so I need to get to the airport for about 8 p.m maybe 7 p.m uh, and then just relax in the airport. Um, so I'm sure Krakow's got more than enough for me to do, um, you know, I just need to do, again, my research to make sure I know what I'm doing in Krakow, but really, you know, that, that's it, once I've done tomorrow, that's it for my Polish trip, and then it's back to the one day holidays, I've really enjoyed doing this, I've enjoyed driving around and just seeing the country for as it is, seeing the country in different villages and city life, I know I've only really documented city life mainly, but I have seen little village life as well, Main reason I haven't documented any of that is because as I'm driving, I can't really just get my camera and start vlogging. And if I stop off at all these little villages, it will just really shorten uh, the amount of time I've got in these cities that I wanted to explore. So I've just enjoyed driving around and um, yeah, just ex experiencing everything firsthand um, without having to just fly to a single city. I've actually explored the majority of the like mid and southern area of Poland as in like the majority of the main cities at least. Um, there are still cities that I wish I would have gone to, but didn't have time, of course. That's something that I'd love to aim for. If I was ever, if YouTube ever became something for me where I was able to sustain it and that, like YouTube was my job basically, then like I would love to be able to just go to a country and just spend a good month in that country and just travel around all the major cities, maybe even all of this like bigger towns and stuff. Just, just go around, uh, stop off at, a countryside town or village somewhere um, and document it on my channel um, you know I'd love to be able to do that in countries like Spain in like USA Croatia which is where I was meant to go originally there's so many countries I would like to just go to and travel to and spend actual good time in that country to get to know the culture as well as the language properly so yeah like I've really enjoyed it for me personally I just enjoy culture and enjoy languages and this has been a real like immersive situation for me because this is something I've done on my own as well as being able to drive around on my own, just explore on my own terms, in my own time, get into another culture. The majority of people I've met, the majority of people that I've seen in the streets as well were Polish or at least not English or American because I heard almost zero tourists throughout this entire trip. There was one or two that I walked past, I think it was in Warsaw, but Warsaw's the capital, like there's going to be tourists there. It was crazy how many non-tourists there were actually and how many like legit Polish people there were. And when I went to that coal mine, for example, there was like everyone I spoke to knew no words of English. They literally didn't even know how to say hello. Like I went to two people at like some barriers because originally I was trying to go into the actual coal mine, like the on the base level before I realized you had to go to a viewpoint. None of them spoke any English at all. They had to use Google Translate to translate with me. Um, and then when I was at the viewpoint itself, there was other people in the area. As I was flying my drone, there was some guy who come up to me and the only word at the entire sentence I understood was droney, which I assumed was drone. But I said to him, sorry, I'm foreign, I don't know uh, Polish. And then they, they understand the gist and they just like laugh and then just walk off. Genuinely will be sad tomorrow when I leave Poland because... I've only had five days here, and five days is a nice amount of time. I just wish I had longer so I could explore cities like Czestochowa, um, Katowice, uh, Biwostok, or Bydgosz, you know, cities like that. There were just other cities which weren't main cities that I explored this time, which, um, you know, I, I think they're like sub-tier cities. I don't really know, to be honest with you, uh, but just on the map, they're not quite as big as the cities I've went to on this particular trip. I just wish I was able to go and visit those cities and I'm sure there's loads more 
um, to explore as well. Maybe next time or maybe in the future at some point I'll be able to actually come back to Poden, do this again, but do other cities that I managed to not go to this time. Or maybe I'm able to do it in another country, whether, like I said, whether it's Spain or France or, you know, just Germany. It, Germany would be a really good one, actually. They've got a lot of cities. But any country I can travel to and just travel in my own time, I think it would just really satisfy my needs. I would really enjoy doing that. So, you know, looking ahead on YouTube, I think that's, um, if I was ever, ever able to, then that would be my goal. It's just a see culture for as it is and not just in the bigger cities but go to the d different towns and villages and whatnot all right uh with that being said i did it again i sat down and i rambled for ages but it is almost the end of the trip so it's the last hotel you know and then we'll wrap up i guess i'm gonna go and eat in the hotel the time is currently uh quarter past eight and um yeah the uh the restaurant here in the hotel is open till 10. So I'm going to go see what they do in the restaurant. They also have breakfast that's open. So I'm going to go and breakfast as well. Um, yeah, sort of appreciate the fact this hotel actually does food. All the other hotels that I've stayed in didn't do food. Well, one of them did food, but it was only like snacky bits. It wasn't proper food. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Um, and once I've had dinner, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, just one more tomorrow, then that's it. So let's go and grab some food. Cool little waterfalls. <laughs> I'm stuffed after that food. It's not something I'd normally go for, to be honest, because it has, or well, it had, sort of like something that looked like. Uh, sauces and cream and that type of thing i don't often go for sauces or things with sauces because i don't like the majority of sauces uh they were actually pretty good the first one in the soup was really nice it was a little bit spicy uh, and then the second one was like a um, i guess like a cream cheese or that type of thing it's really nice actually it filled me up a lot more than i expected to so yeah great food in the restaurant this hotel is amazing i'm gonna go do some research on krakow and then tomorrow, hopefully, it'll be a great video and a great ending to this awesome trip. I'm going to go do some editing now because I still have a lot of editing to do. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed today in Lublin. Uh, if you did, make sure to comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my channel, enjoy my content, and so it promotes it even more. And it just helps my channel overall. So thank you so much. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Until then, have a great one and peace out.